um, ability, and I'm sorry, not our ability, but it's it's our, our personal trust and confident reliance in God and obedience in God's ability. Um, because God is it's God that gives us the ability to even have confidence. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to repeat that definition because I, I chopped it all up. It's uh, faith is our personal trust and confident reliance and obedience to God's ability, trust. Um, so we, we, we because our, our confidence comes from God, our, our, our everything that we we have, it comes from God. Mm-hmm. It originated with God. And so confidence even comes from God. There's several scriptures in the Bible that talks about confidence. I was pleasantly surprised to find so many scriptures in the Old and New Testament that dealt with confidence. Um, Another one is, is Proverbs 14 and 26. It says, in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence and his children have a place of refuge. So confidence can be a place of refuge for you um, if you um, are, are, are getting shaky and you, you your faith might be wavering or your faith might be uh, being torn down because things are not happening. Uh, your confidence can be shaken because of some event that did or did not happen. Mm-hmm. And so confidence is one of the things um that we can we can have a place of refuge in, and even as the other scripture, it says, "Don't cast away your confidence. Don't give up on your confidence, because there's a great recompense, a reward for having confidence. Mm-hmm. Not just a reward, but a great recompense, a reward." It says, mm-hmm. "So confidence is a powerful thing, because if you do, if you lack it, um, it can stop you in your tracks. Mm-hmm. But if you have confidence." Uh, confidence can can help you propel and, and move forward and even take you to the next level. Mm-hmm. Now, this morning um, on your prayer line, uh-huh. um, we talked a little bit about confidence. There there were some callers who were interested in uh, um, stepping out and writing books and mm-hmm. becoming authors. And, and that takes confidence. Yes, it does. Um, so um, we talked a little bit about what it takes for them to step out and move forward in it, um, even if... If they don't have the support that they're looking for, they can uh, self-publish. Yes. And so well, that takes a lot of confidence to do, self-publish. Yes, it, it does. And you just need knowledge um, and, and you need uh, some direction to do it. Because, I mean, let's face it, everybody's not getting on the bestsellers list. And, I mean, if, mm-hmm. that's, if that's your goal... Um, just as our previous caller said, Carly, she said that if she can just inspire one person, Mm -hmm. I think we need to get back to the basics. Mm -hmm. If we ought to focus on just encouraging and inspiring at least one person, if Mm -hmm. we can do that, because if you, if your message is solid and what you're doing um, is reaching people, then it's going to, what comes from the heart reaches the heart. Since this is matters of the heart, I figured out. (laughs) <laughs> figured I'd say that so um, it, it's important it's important for us when we're dealing with um, confidence in book writing and anything that we um, alright let's see who's calling okay smooth 90.5 FM WGSJBC radio who's calling hey Miss Joanne how are you I'm well, and yourself? Great, great. Did you have a question about um, what our topic today, confidence? Yes, the topic is about purpose and destiny, correct? Confidence. We're talking about... Um, confidence. Yes. Okay. Yes, I, I actually do. Um, when you um facing, do I need to t- tell a question to you? Yes, you can ask the question. Uh, okay. Okay, um, when you're facing uh, uh, any situation um, and you know the Word of God and you're standing on the Word of God, but when you, doesn't, when you don't see that it has came to pass yet, how do you stay in that confident mode? Okay, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, one of the things you, you got to do is you got to look at God's track record with you. Okay. You look at 
the past things that God has done and has God ever let you down before? Now, God may not answer something the way you want him to, but then God is God. God is not uh, your errand boy. Every time we ask God to do something, don't mean he's going to do it. It has to, it has to be, uh, it has to fit into his overall purpose for our lives and, and what he's trying to teach us. And so sometimes we want, we want to use God um, when things don't come to pass. We want to say faith don't work. No, it's not that faith doesn't work. It's that since we're talking about confidence and I, and I quoted the scripture, Hebrews 10 35, it says, cast not therefore away your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. Meaning that sometimes uh, when you ask God to do something and you don't see it, you have to just trust that God is going to come through again. I say, look at God's past track record with you. Has he, has he, has he ever um, not come through for you? When you really needed him to. And, and God knows better how to handle a situation than we do. I know we think we're intelligent. We're smart and all that. We didn't get all these degrees. But you still, you still can't outrank God when it comes to wisdom and when it comes to mm -hmm. solving matters. So we have to trust, um, again, in a God's ability to see us through. The, the, the amen, amen. And no, God has not never has answered me. He has always answered me. And and yes, I, it has been times where I had to wait for a long time, but God has still come through. So amen. thank you, men of God, for that. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for God calling. bless you. And this is Matters of the Heart, and we're talking about confidence with Pastor Daryl Shaver Sr. And we're going to go to a commercial break, and we'll be right back. and gentlemen, don't forget, Forbidden Fruits, today, April 11th, doors open up at 6 p.m., showtime 7, at the Copa Theater, 8 East Galena Street, Aurora, Illinois. 
come on out to a wonderful stage play. If you're interested in seeing the stage play this evening, come on out. Forbidden Fruit, a wonderful stage play. We have VIP tickets if you're interested in coming to the play this evening. We have VIP tickets for Forbidden Fruit stage play, Saturday, April 11th. Doors open up at 6 p.m. Show starts at 7. Advanced tickets, $20. $30 at the door. Copal Theater at Eat East Galena Street, Aurora, Illinois. You are listening to Matters of the Heart on Smooth 90.5 FM. WGSJ. B. C. Radio. Never sounded better. And we're back with matters of the heart on Smooth ninety point five FM uh, with Rashawn Thomas, and we have our uh, guest co-host, Pastor Daryl Shavers, Senior, here with us today, and we we've been talking about confidence as it relates to. Uh, walking in your purpose, just confidence in general, uh, walking in confidence in your life. Uh, and so we know that one area that you definitely need confidence in is on the job or uh, if you're pursuing a job. Uh, the word says if, if a man doesn't work, he doesn't eat. That's right. <laughs> so either you are looking for a job or you're you're uh, working on the job. And if you're on the job, you definitely have to have confidence in all areas um, while you're working. So let's talk a little bit about having confidence on the job, Pastor Shavers. Okay. Um, what? No matter what the job is, in order for you to do a good job and get a promotion and get a raise and um, all of that good stuff, there certainly has to be confidence. You have to have faith. And belief in your ability uh, to get the job done. Otherwise, they wouldn't have hired you for the job. If, well, you know, we know some people get jobs because they know somebody, not so much by what they know, but who they know. Mm-hmm. But even in that, um, even if they hire you because you know somebody, they that person hires you even though they know you. They have to have some confidence that you can get the job done. Because mm-hmm. I don't think even if they know you and you can't get the job, it's going to make them look bad if they hire you. Mm-hmm. So there has to be a certain confidence um, in your uh, in your <laughs> own ability. And this is where the self-confidence comes in because uh, the people that hired you are depending upon your confidence in your ability to get the job done that they hired you for. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... You certainly have to, because otherwise, I mean, you might get, you might do your job, but if, if you lack confidence, certainly it's going to reflect um, in your job. It's going to reflect in your attitude on the job. It's going to reflect to other people. Mm-hmm. Man, they they really don't like what they do because they always frowning, they negative all the time. Mm-hmm. You might do the job well, but if you're always negative. Mm-hmm. They gonna say, why? Why are you here if you always negative? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I work with some guys, and I had to, I had to tell my boss. I said, I don't want to work with this guy no more. And I told him to his face. I said, Man, mm-hmm. I can't work with you because every every time we do something, your your view on everything is negative. Mm-hmm. I, I can't work. I can't operate. I can't work with people that's all. I would even. You know, take his negative and spin it to a positive. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I started. And I kept doing it. And I kept doing it. And it didn't matter what I said, what I did to help him get the job accomplished. Everything out of his mind was just negative. Uh And so I told my boss, I said, hold on, time out. I said, I can't work with this guy no more. (laughs) He said, well, what's the problem? I said, man, this guy is too, he's negative Mm -hmm. 24-7. And I'm not the only one. Everybody else, I'm sorry, everybody else that he's worked with, that is his signature with them, always negative. 
So you, you, you have to have confidence in your own ability when it comes.